All right, today we're going to check out everything that I have in my backpack as a student studying computer science in college. All right, so starting off, we have my backpack. This backpack right here is the Zecti camera backpack. And yeah, it is a camera backpack. And no, I do not have any camera gear or equipment on me. But I honestly really like um, having a camera backpack because of the compartmentalization. It's really nice because I can keep all of my loose tech and loose gadgets in here without having it like roll around or go anywhere. This bag is perfect for that. All right, so first up, we have my laptop. This is an old Lenovo T460. It's a bit of an older laptop, but I'll go over my reasons as to why I still have this laptop as opposed to like a newer MacBook Pro. First off, these things are dirt cheap. Let me just get that all right out of the way. These are perfect for programming. If you don't want to mess something up, you can dual boot uh, Linux and Windows on here. And it's perfect for just experimentation and stuff like that. These laptops also have all of the old I.O. ports that you would be getting with a USB-C hub for some of the newer laptops. So for example, it has HDMI, Ethernet, a bunch of USB-As, an SD card reader, a microphone head jack, and it even has a SIM card slot. But honestly, yeah, this thing is really nice because, um, like I said, it's dirt cheap. So I can just get three or four of these things for the price of one MacBook. Next up in the laptop compartment, I just have uh, my laptop cord. Because it's an older laptop, it does have its own dedicated uh, charging cord to go along with it. Not a USB-C. Just one of the downsides of carrying around an older laptop. Next up, I just have my headphones of choice. And these are the WH-1000XM4s by Sony. These headphones are definitely the ultimate study companion. I got these actually because I wanted something that was that sounded a little bit better than my Apple AirPods. Uh, and these things come in super clutch. I study with these all the time. As you guys already know, the noise canceling uh, on these headphones is superb. And when I go to the loud floor of my library or if I go anywhere else, I can usually just put these things on and it'll cancel out like 85% of all the noise. So these things are great. It's absolutely essential if you guys are trying to study hard or get some work done. In this sort of middle compartment right here, I have my pencil case. This pencil case is my favorite pencil case that I've been using for the past couple of years ever since I went to Japan. And this is the Kokuyo Neil Kritz Flats. Um, I love this pencil case for a few different reasons, but one of the main reasons is uh, once you open it up, this thing actually stands up on its own, giving you really easy access to all of your pens and pencils and, and stuff like that. As for the actual pens and pencils inside, I have a bunch. First, I have this Muji ballpoint pen. I also have uh, two Muji highlighters with the fine tips at the end as well. This is another mechanical pencil from Muji. Um, this thing looks like a wooden pencil and I love it because of that. I like the feel of a wooden pencil. This right here is the Zebra Tech 2-Way. This is probably my main daily driver when it comes to a pencil of choice. This thing is really comfortable, it's nice, it feels great. I also carry with me um, two friction ballpoint erasable ink pens. These things are just really cool. I usually carry uh, color pens with me all the time and you can erase the ink with these pens. I also carry a mechanical eraser with me just because I don't like to use the eraser tips on some of my pencils. And lastly, I just carry a Sharpie on me. You never know when you're gonna need a Sharpie. And yeah, all of that stores away really neatly into my pencil case. It closes pretty uh, pretty flat, pretty tight, and it fits perfectly into the middle compartment of my backpack. Next up, I just have a sticker pouch. Um, I'm always collecting stickers. I'm not a huge sticker collector, but I'm always getting stickers from my school, from just different events and stuff. They're always giving out stickers, so I like to just carry a little sticker pouch. Uh, and clearly my laptop was all stickered up, so I like to just throw these things around wherever I see fit. Next up, I just have the side compartment right here. And in here, I just carry a pair of sunglasses. I have pretty sensitive eyes, so sometimes when my eyes are adjusted to the classroom environment and I have to walk outside, the brightness just hits me, so I usually carry these around just to save my eyesight, you know? And I also just carry a little vial of uh, hand sanitizer because you never know when you're gonna need that. All right, so moving into the actual uh, backside of the bag, I have a few miscellaneous uh, items. I usually just carry my like loose items, my loose tech, EDC, that kind of stuff in the back here. As always, I have my wallet. I also carry my uh, this Apple charger. It's just uh, a USB-C lightning cord uh, attached to the Samsung fast charging power brick. I also carry a mouse. This one right here is the Logitech M331, the silent edition. I've been using this mouse for the past couple of months now and it's been really great. As its name implies, this thing is super silent and I like that because of it. It's also got these super nice rubber grips on the side. And it's a little bit smaller than the mouse that I previously used to use. So the mouse that I used to use is this one right here. This is the Logitech M705 Marathon mouse. Uh, and this mouse is pretty good as well, except obviously it's very, it's a lot louder. It's not the, it doesn't have any silent sort of technology in it. There's a few more buttons on it as well as it's a little bit bigger, but I think the biggest thing, uh, the biggest difference is the fact that despite its size, 
It's actually pretty similar size. It's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit heavier for some reason, which I think is fine if this is the mouse that you keep at your desk. But in a mouse that I'm, you know, traveling with and I'm just going to school and I'm going everywhere with, I want to keep like a pretty light mouse, especially because I just whip this thing out and I just use it for, you know, like 15, 30 minutes and then I put it back and, you know, stow everything away. Next up, I keep a little notebook with me at all times. I do take most of my notes online. Um, I take most of my notes on a laptop, but it's always nice to have a little physical notebook just to like either doodle in or just to write physical notes. I do like the feeling of using pen and paper. So I do carry this around. I also, um, I also use other notebooks as well. This is, I have like a moleskin notebook that I, I use occasionally, but it's a little bit too big for this backpack. So that's why I like to use the form factor of this sort of smaller notepad. When I'm not using the Sony XM4s, I am using the Apple AirPod Pros Gen 1. And when you when you own an Apple device, if you own an iPhone, this thing is honestly like the best pair of headphones that you could be using out of sheer convenience. This thing pairs super fast. But as a student, I think this is just super essential. I'll usually just walk to class with one earbud in. The noise canceling is okay. I don't really use these for studying. And the sound is also, it's, it's pretty good. It's not the best and that's, that's why when I study, I use the Sony's, but for almost everything else, um, I use the Apple AirPods. So my main um, battery bank of choice is the Anchor battery bank. I think it's about 10,000 milliamp hours. It's a little bit old. I've been using this thing for a couple of years now, but it's honestly great. 10,000 milliamp hours is more than enough for a single day. Um, this thing can usually charge my phone up to two or three times on a single charge. Uh, and it's really clutch when your friends also need a charge as well and you're not next to an outlet. So that's why I keep this thing around. Lastly, in sort of the tech compartments, I keep this Maxpedition micro pouch with the Donut Media jet tag. This Maxpedition micro pouch is honestly my sort of miscellaneous tech pouch. I keep a lot of random things in here. Usually just, I'll just throw this in my car or I'll throw this in my backpack wherever I need to go and I'll usually be safe. And this is what I keep in my Maxpedition micro when I am going to school. So I first keep another uh, Muji ballpoint pen just because you never know when you're gonna need another Muji pen. I also keep another battery bank. This one's more of an emergency one. I don't usually use this one all the time. This is the Ubio Labs Power Bank, 6,000 milliamp hours. Uh, I just keep this one, again, as an emergency. It's super flat, so I can just leave it in here and forget about it. I also have it in there because I don't only use this for my uh, student EDC. I usually just throw that in my car or I'll just leave that somewhere in my, my everyday carry backpack. Along with that, I carry just a regular USB-C cord for when I want to charge some of my devices. As well as, I think this is a USB micro B cord with a lightning adapter. Both of them are pretty short, which I like because I'll usually just be using this in conjunction with my power bank just to charge like a little device or something. And the short cords are perfect for that. On the other side of the pouch, I usually keep my Olight i3T EOS. This flashlight is a tiny little flashlight that's really perfect. Um, most of the time if I need a flashlight, I'll just use my phone flashlight, but there's there are the times when I need something a little bit more powerful. Um, I'm often at school pretty late uh, at night, and so having this thing around is perfect. Also, if I need to like check under a couch or something, this light is perfect for doing stuff like that. It's definitely more powerful than the phone flashlights. I also carry this screwdriver by Hoto. This is probably my favorite sort of portable screwdriver. It's made of all metal and it feels really nice. And everything about it is magnetic, which is really nice as well. There is this magnetic bit storage in the butt of the screwdriver. And honestly, I just keep this around because you never know when you're gonna need a, another screwdriver or another bit. As a STEM student, as a computer science student, I've used screwdrivers all the time just to take apart stuff, to put stuff together. Sometimes I wanna, you know, tighten my glasses or something. And having a little precision screwdriver kit in the size of this little screwdriver is honestly perfect. And lastly in here, I just keep some nail clippers. I find that um, I don't actually use these to clip nails all that often, as I'll usually just do that at home, but nail clippers are perfect if you just wanna cut some loose threads or if you wanna cut into like a little bag a little bit. Nail clippers definitely have their use outside of just clipping nails. And that is everything that's in my little Maxpedition Micro. And lastly at the top out here, I just have a few miscellaneous items. Lately, I've been enjoying this puffed rice roll um, as my snack. And this thing is only like 100 calories, which is perfect because I can just eat this thing uh, in the middle or after a class. And it'll usually hold me off until my next meal. Same idea for like this little stick of gum. I usually keep gum for the same exact reason. 
it'll usually just hold me over and it'll curb my hunger until I actually eat something or sometimes I just want fresh breath. Lastly on the side, I do carry a, a, a refillable water bottle. I think every student at this point should or already has a refillable water bottle. This one is just a little cool one by SpaceX NASA that I've had for a few years now and honestly this thing is perfect. And so yeah, that was everything that's in my student everyday backpack. Everything should be linked down below so if you're interested in any of the items, go check it out over there. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see any other EDC related videos. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.